English one part two because I forgot to say a few things to you. So, first thing, um, Schoology conferences. A lot of you came. I was very impressed. Um, a lot more showed out than the sophomores, so I appreciate that. Um, here's the deal with Schoology conferences. We have to have them. I have to give assignments from here on out. I have to record them. Everyone has to attend. If you do not attend my Schoology conference, you have to set up a separate time to conference with just me or with some of your friends. Um, just make it easier on yourself and show up at the 30 minute conference on Fridays. It will always be Friday at 9.30. That is our time slot, okay? That's that's what we signed up for. And if you work every morning, Friday at 9.30, that's fine. Get with me and I will, I know like Dylan and Christian, you told me you're working that morning. That's okay. You two can set up like a different Google will hang out whatever with me later and I'll give you those questions and we can we can do it at another time um but some of you some of you I got quite a few apologies thank you for apologizing it's okay but I, it's required like from here on out I'm assigning work I'm recording the conferences I have to show that I've been having them I have to prove to my bosses that I've been doing everything I can to get you to those conferences okay so it's not just like you skip and your grade goes down. It's like you skip and I message you and I message you and I message you because I have to turn in those messages that's proving that I am attempting to get a hold of you to my bosses. Same goes when you're not doing your work, by the way, right now. So no pressure, but it is on me to not only remind you step by step which one you're missing, but I also have to prove that I am doing that at the end. So, you know. If you could just turn in your work and do do stuff, that would be good. Um, if you have uh, another conflict or struggle or reason you're getting work in late, that is okay. I know some of you are working. Some parents have been laid off. Some parents are working all the time because they're essential work workers. These are like tricky, tricky, scary times. And I know that we're all so busy and overwhelmed right now. And I... am right there with you and will do anything I can to help. Um, I'm okay with you turning in work late. Just get it done. Just make sure you have it finished um, if, before the nine weeks are over. And those weekly conferences, again, that has to be a weekly thing. That is just required on all fronts for all of us. I think it's a great thing. I get to see y'all. Um, but it does, it puts some extra pressure on both of us that we have to reschedule if you cannot make that weekly meeting. So Friday, 930, every single Friday, that is our slot. That's when we'll meet, Okay. Um, so if, if your excuse is not waking up early and tough it out, cause we used to be at school at eight. So, um, another thing, okay. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Let me start by saying that I wasn't, I even giggled a little bit. Um, this weekend, Saturday night, I had a prank call. Um, I sent out my phone number on the take home work and I know a few students have my phone number anyway for work or for cheer or for things. I really honestly don't care. It's not something I'm supposed to give out per se so I don't to keep myself out of hot water. Um, but I'm okay with it if you have it and ask me questions about school or your parents text me, that's fine. Um, Saturday I got a prank call and again, I'm not upset. Uh, and I know some of you are like, of course you're not upset. It's a prank call. Don't be dramatic, Miss Hole. Um, I, when you called, and I saw it was a blocked caller. Normally I wouldn't answer, but I was outside of the emergency room. My dad got in a really bad, scary accident this week. Um, and no one was allowed in due to the coronavirus. So uh, he had a tractor flip over on him and he got stuck, which I don't know for those of you that don't really work in the country, usually those stories don't end with someone making it out alive. So thank God we got there, we got help. Um, we were able to tow it off of him and he is okay. But it was a very scary situation. His blood pressure had dropped. They were worried about internal breeding that bleeding they were doing brain scans and stuff um so I was in a rush to answer the phone because we thought it might be the nurse's station calling us with an update because we're not allowed in due to the coronavirus we just had to sit in the parking lot um and pray and wait to hear some updates on him so um and they prank called me as a student 
that wasn't getting their work in class and um it's okay like I, and any other time it would have been okay but just kind of use that as a life lesson as maybe that's why you don't prank call people because I was I was a little frazzled to say the least I was I was waiting to hear from the nurses I didn't want to hear about anything but my dad um so just just keep that in mind when you're going to prank call people that it might not be the best time uh and it might not always be funny at the moment um it was a little disappointing to hear somebody pretending to be one of my students when I really just wanted an update telling me that my daddy was going to be okay. So, um, just a little side note, like just keep that in mind next time you go to prank call people. But I really, I mean, my mom and I chuckled about it after, so don't, I'm not like trying to make you feel bad or anything, but don't like, don't, don't prank call people. Okay. Um, off my soapbox. Have a great day.